We are very excited to reboot our Chef in a Shoestring segment this morning with a new food segment simply called The Dish. Instead of three recipes, you will get to know our guest chef through one of their ultimate dishes. And joining us now with his dish is Chef Marcus Samuelson. He recently opened the Red Rooster right here in New York. Great place, and among other prestigious awards, he won the second season of Bravo TV's Top Chef Master. Chef Marcus, great to have you with us. Thank you for I sort of you feel like it. we're at the kids' table right now, yeah. <laughs> but with an amazing assortment of things to eat. I'm yeah. so excited, and all these dishes really are reflections on my life, so I just think that uh, fun way I can smell the meatballs and I can smell the Ethiopian food and then mm. of course Russ favorite the bourbon over there. <laughs> oh Russ is favorite yeah. the bourbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. In. And usually yeah. they, you know sometimes they put tea in these glasses. Yes. So this is the real stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> right I, here, definitely. I felt it was a little bit early I said I had to tell you guys it's actually real bourbon in here. <laughs> let's let's go around the table here. Tell me what we have. Let's, let's start with this dish right well, here. Well you know and why it's important. This is uh, Ethiopian dorwa. It's a chicken stew. It really comes from the Amhara tribe, and mm. this is something that you eat on a festive oh, occasion mm. or on a sad occasion. Someone passes away. So it's chicken stew with lots of onion. It takes almost a day to cook, but it's absolutely delicious. And you eat it mm -hmm. with this injera bread, okay. and you actually eat it with your hands. So just like Rebecca's doing that, you got to. I just get in, in. there. All right. <laughs> she doesn't. You see, she doesn't talk to us. She just. Gets <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's great. Yeah. So this is a dish that I felt was so important. And it's all with my hands. So you did the, the yeah, and you dip okay. the bread. Bread. And then, um, then there's the meatballs, of course. You know, I was raised in mm -hmm. Sweden, mm -hmm. and I love right. Swedish meatballs. And it reminds me also, like, of cooking. Why I got started cooking with my grandmother. And um, Thank you. so I'm gonna give it. How hard recipe. is this to cook, Marcus? No, chicken stew. It's not hard to cook. It's it, this is more. This is comfort food, and this is food mm -hmm. cooked with love and thoughts. And dishes that takes a long time to cook also brings the whole family together. And it's not like you're cooking the whole time, it simmers away. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the meatballs, the Swedish meatball with some lingonberries, which you got oh, extra awesome. points for if you can spell lingonberries, right? <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there no, right no, now. No, no, no. <laughs> but, it, but it's really comfort food, and that's really what I always come back to. You can do fancy food, but it's really storytelling comfort food. This is my family, mm. this is how I was raised, this is where I am today, and this is my life, essentially. It's a dish you would share with your family and good friends? Absolutely. Yeah. And top it off with the bourbon that is really inspired by Harlem, which is my well, my new home, in which I really love to yeah, live. Yeah, congratulations mm -hmm. on the place getting raving. Thank you. Yeah. Thank is you. this the kind of thing that you would eat all together on one plate, or would you normally think of it as two meals, but because we said come up with the best that you yeah, have to offer, I mean, you had to do depends. both? I mean, the holidays are coming up, so for Thanksgiving, for example, where you have lots of dishes, mm -hmm. I could definitely imagine to have both, right? You can still have the, the turkey there, but I think on certain on Sunday dinners, you know, the way it's an Italian family, it's, you know, there's lots of stuff at the table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can have it, and it's something for everyone, with the chicken stew sort of being a little bit spicier and the meatballs being a little bit milder. So it's, mm -hmm. it's comfort food, and comfort food around the world, I think it's, it, there are similar, similarities, right? You feel good, reminds you of your childhood. Mm -hmm. While you're talking, mm. I want to bring you this dish because we are going to start a new mm. tradition where every top chef who comes through here We'll be signing our, our dish. Chefs? The dish. Was, wow. <laughs> Your new wow. Uno, baby. Wow. Oh, you can't okay. beat number you. one. You keep bringing so the bourbon back. Rebecca's going to say yeah. every week, <laughs> Marcus Samuelson's coming back. Does the bourbon have any significance, by the way? Yeah, I mean, it <laughs> really represents Harlem and, and sort of my life in, in New York and America, mm -hmm. and it's just something that I love to sip on.